guys, so I just had an incredible experience in Africa with War Child. We went to Uganda to help the refugees at the refugee settlement. Rather than talk about it, I'm going to show you a few of the videos I took in Uganda. I was there for about a week and then I ended up staying an extra day because one of the planes didn't work to get us to our destination which was closer to the Bitty Bitty settlement. Um, but for the, the, the week I was there I spent three days with the refugees. It's quite difficult to explain their situation but it's just for me I just felt so helpless in a way. I just I want I wanted to show them that their life is going to get better and I'm hoping that their life is going to get better and that they can one day know what happiness means, one day know what hope means. Um, I got to talk to a few of the refugees. I got to meet three incredible people at the refugee settlement. One of the, one of the children was called Julia. She's 12 years old and she came, she fled from South Sudan with her sister and her mother. But unfortunately her mother left them and Julia had no idea what to do, so this 12-year-old adopted two other girls to come and live with her. The reason why she did this was because, I mean, she's quite smart, the whole idea, but in case her younger sister was sick, she would still be able to go and get medicine for her sister while other people watched out and took care of her. And the issue, though, um, Julia, she showed me how, like, where they live, um, which is really close to the school. They... <laughs> The thing is, they, they go to school from 7 to 4 o'clock and it gets dark around 5 or 6, so it doesn't even give them the opportunity to study, to have, yeah, to get a job, to have a career. And so I'm hoping, just explaining to you guys like their experiences, that you know maybe we can find a way to get them flashlights so that they can study. So Julia wants to become a doctor and this is a way I could possibly help her is by giving the children their flashlights so they can study. The other person I met was Daniel. He has been with the War Child facility for a few years now and has been in War Child for 12 years. And Daniel is an incredible person. He has such an old soul and he has been through so much. Uh, one of the things that he was telling me, like one of his best memories was his friend that he lost at a very young age. And it reminded me of my sister and like my best friend in the orphanage and how she was the reason why I kept wanting to be happy or wanting to have hope. It was a very beautiful story and I mean, yeah, incredible. And the other person I got to meet was Winnie. She's another very smart girl and their situations are horrible, all two of the girls. But I'm hoping with this vlog I can inspire people to, to help, to, to become a friend of War Child Holland and to see that, you know, just because they fled and got to these refugee settlements doesn't mean that they aren't still struggling. One of the best moments I had was teaching these little girls how to do ballet. I had such an incredible time and they seemed to really enjoy it. 
One of the funniest things was uh, the fact that they, when they had to let go of the bar and try to find their balance on Releve, and I wasn't shaking at all and they were, they just thought that was absolutely incredible. Another moment that I really enjoyed was the fact that even the boys were trying to do ballet steps and I was trying to explain to them that ballet is just not only for girls but it's also for boys. I want to say a big thank you to War Child Holland for giving me this opportunity to inspire children and refugees to have hope. It's a horrible thing that these children have to experience war and conflict but you have given me the chance to show them that they can have a better life one day. And if you guys also want to help or get involved in any way, please click on the link below. Thanks guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. And please, again, if you want to help, click on the link below. Uganda has a lot of bugs, and for me, I'm okay with bugs, but as long as they don't hop. I don't understand the concept of hopping things. It freaks me out. And in my hotel um, in Yombe, um, yeah, I had a lot of bugs in my room.